11.51 on the 15th of June and for the purpose of my documentary I'm uploading with regard to a few misconstruencies with regard to circumstances that have been repaired and resolved and reconciled within the past five years with regard to legislation, Brexit, um, as a consequence of my recovery advocacy. As I've mentioned, um, there are people not observing good etiquette and it's not just about protocol, it's not just about good manners, it's not about, you know, just, you know, the big issue of the law. Um, <laughs> um, there's a matter about people overlooking a few big circumstances that my uh, credentials and achievements have successfully um, accomplished in Ireland that are being disrespected and that is unsafe for me to be for any human being to be disrespected it's just not it's not acceptable so there are some people that aren't practicing good etiquette and that aren't behaving with courtesy or any standards and they're overlooking a few dangerous issues with regard to what my purpose has accomplished for society, social reform and civil principles. So it's a little bit cheeky that there are unqualified individuals intruding upon me, uh, being presumptuous, um, thinking they're getting a free meal <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, playing with the idea of um, repeat offences against my good name character, reputation, etc. So um, I might as well make this as succinct and clear as possible. Um, as I've mentioned and documented, um, I'm experiencing crimes and people trying to uh, compound the problems that they're already after making with more problems without being adult with solutions or reparations that I'm owed in every shape and form. It's just so outrageous the uh, imaginations of these people that are a liability to society and to any um, good that has come from my purpose. So um, there are people uh, in my proximity uh, that shouldn't be. Uh, there are people passing my door, my address, walking on my land that are not honouring their debts and their dues. Now, as I've mentioned, the conditions I'm living in were meant to be short term. They're not short term at the moment. They've been the conditions of my living standards for five years. Deplorable and uh, dissatisfying, really. It's really unsatisfactory that people have um, violated my bodily integrity and the Hippocratic Oath and think it smart or sensible or wise to be on my farms. It's highly, highly cheeky. It's really unwise. And there are people with um, offences against uh, debt recovery, with more debt evasion. And, um, you know, um, let's bring down the tone a little bit. Let's make it about the dough and the bread and uh, butter discussion at the end of the day uh, with regard to people living off my royalties and my royalty. Uh, there are people of creative intellectual property, theft and fraud that have damaged wildlife, um, offending my spiritual purpose. And they've been quite cheeky with their practices. They've offended, as I've mentioned, ad nauseum, five, five good big faiths. And um, I, I find that offensive. And these people have, um, they've disrespected bird life and they've disrespected my holy matrimony of the 30th of the 3rd 2015 still legally binding and they've offended my little baby boy so these people aren't exactly uh, qualified to be taking it upon themselves to impose upon a person like this with offence injuries and insults where their dirty debts are quite dangerous for their children to be carrying the cross of so I'd like a few sensible smart intelligent people to cast their minds back to maybe 2018 2017 and any people or uh, persons that are responsible for slandering my good name, character and reputation with cheap talk um, might be careful about their false reporting and offending my name and my family and my child's upbringing. Um, he's still a missing person. He's still unlawfully from my care. And there are still people thinking that they have entitlement to property with uh, fraud. And unfortunately, um, I don't condone anyone on any McElligot farm holdings of my ancestors or my holy matrimony um, when they have such damages, disrespect and defamation to their repertoire of crime against the state. 
So those people that are overlooking their responsibilities, obligations and duties and functions might be a little bit careful about the damages that they've been doing to bird life in this community, as well as their damages to my spiritual purpose. And not to mention least and most of all, their damages to the Hippocratic Oath. So anyone that's making it an issue that they take exception to uh, hearing about the Hippocratic Oath being offended or any general practitioners being offended for their crimes against my rights or anything like that in a failed treasonous attempt that is actually a crime against the state, they might be a little bit careful about being um, offended when they're in contempt and in breach of huge, huge laws and when they've done such awful damage to my spiritual birthrights and nature. So these people um, aren't really working with reality and unfortunately when people hoodwink themselves and think they're helping themselves to a free meal, um, they might be careful about um, I suppose repercussions that we've already seen to these people's uh, liable and liability um, matters. They have not been addressing anything and unfortunately that's avoidance and that's 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 immaturity and irresponsibility. So um, as I'm qualified, um, I would hope that there wouldn't be anyone take offence to what I'm relaying in these um, uploads. Um, anyone that's uh, misconstruing my purpose of social reform with any nonsense of conspiratorial stupidity and false allegations might be careful about their children's safety. People with conspiratorial stories might be putting them and their children at high risk, offending uh, my good name, character, reputation as a humanitarian um, that has saved people's lives. So those that uh, have an imagination that isn't too healthy might tell themselves um, the reality, give themselves a reality check for the best interests of their children. Um, some people just have no control of their imaginations and honest to goodness, uh, they really need to be careful about any conspiratorial allegations or any disrespect to my qualifications or credentials or achievements or contributions to Irish and British society. So just to remind a few people, bird life in the southwest of Ireland and my spiritual purpose, uh, royal spiritual humanitarian purpose, is putting, oh, it's being put again at risk by idiots that have no common sense in adult conduct, professional conduct and unfortunately uh, the name calling that I've, con I've been confronted with it's been so rude. Slander and false reporting. I think the lowest form of um, offence or attack uh, is defaming a person's good name. It's really dangerous. It's really unsafe. Uh, discrediting a person's calibre, character, qualities with uh, cheap talk. Um, it's idiotic and it's unwise and it's not supported by defamation laws. So those that are crooked in this circumstance with stories that aren't real would need to really have a look at the future possibilities and the past outcomes of my input and how my recovery advocacy has really restored uh, civil principles in society and recovered people's wealth and sanity and sobriety principles. So anyone being cheeky um, with the intention of causing me offence um, aren't acting in the best interests of the general practitioners that are already in trouble with the Hippocratic Oath, Oath and those that are offending protocol from my royal ancestry or the legislation that came from me and those that have been damaging nature, flora, wildlife or the holy matrimony of my vows of the 30th of the 3rd 2015 while trespassing on my farms in Ardfart and Kilflin um, those that are already spot responsible for damaging my child might mind their mind them, you know mind might mind their conduct, behaviour, actions, and thoughts and words, and they might um, they might sit down and have a real chat with themselves or get um, I suppose a self assessment about their perception of the reality. Um, any guard the Shia or any authorities assisting any crimes against me, um, unfortunately, are automatically at risk. Um, any farm fraud or any um, further 
um, matters caused with regard to unlawful care orders of the Tusa Child and Family Agency originating from Tubbert Hill, Artfurt. Anyone associating with that circumstance with the deaths and damages and disrespect to my farm holdings and my family name, McElligot, uh, might be careful really about embroiling themselves or entangling themselves in circumstances where the crimes of trespass onto my land are all punishable, um, as are the damages done to my spiritual, uh, physical health and well-being. Anyone making any um, assertions that are offensive are offending the laws that be. So I hope nature um, is being respected. Um, I'm an environmentalist over in The Hague in 2000, 2001. Um, we discussed the Millennium Goals and the Millennium Goals that uh, were the objective to achieve within a 10 year period, a 10 to 15 year period, have been successful and now they've been even more successful. So it's a real accomplishment. I'm delighted to see what's happening in Canary Wharf. And I would hope that any developments from Canary Wharf with regard to sustainability ambitions and goals and objectives won't be put at risk by offences or due to offences being caused uh, from the southwest of Ireland, where flora, uh, fauna, and bird life have been detrimentally damaged by individuals offending me and in denial and deluded and distorted with regard to what the status is that I hold. Um, anyone associating themselves with denigration or disrespect of the National Framework for Education might have a reality check as well about their own credentials and skills and talents and expertise before they insult uh, my professional portfolio or my contributions to this country. So those up in Doyleran that are aware of uh, protocol procedures and processes that are still in motion, I'd appreciate, as I've always said, if you'd have the courage and bravery to contact me personally. Um, there are people not um, equipped to be uh, assuming an authoritarian position um, with regard to my contributions to society, Irish society, that has saved people's lives and wealth.